We're here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Fred Samuel, who is Government Chief Information Officer and Head of Delegation for Vanuatu. Fred, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. You're welcome. I'd like to start off by asking you about the incredible transformation in the ICT sector and what it means for Vanuatu. I think first of all, let me start by just briefly describing Vanuatu. Vanuatu is a small island nation in the South Pacific. There's a population of 250,000 and it's about two hours flight from Brisbane, Australia. So with the transforma uh, transformation in the sector, for me, in my view, there's a lot of opportunities for Vanuatu to be taken, to be learned from. Uh, um, we are a small island nation. Most of the ICD products is being imported, imported overseas. So that means high cost. Uh, we rely on fuel that's being, you know, imported. So it's it's a it's a high cost uh, location in the South Pacific. So with the transformation, all these things that is happening in the industry, for example, cost sharing of the infrastructure, fiber connectivity. Uh, that means cheaper. It's cheaper and it's faster. We think it brings a lot of opportunities for, for the Republic of Vanuatu. Are you addressing these challenges with your neighbours or are you, are you doing it in a, in a sole, uniform way? At the moment we are addressing these challenges on our own. And uh, what, what are the major challenges that you're facing? Okay, one of our major challenges, as I stated earlier, is the, the cost of running the telecom infrastructure in Vanuatu. We still rely a lot on the satellite connectivity, which is very expensive and as well as it's very slow in terms of speed, as well as the utility, the power cost is so expensive. So because of the high cost, it's very difficult for us to increase the penetration of the market. So what is the Vanuatu government doing? We are actually, before the end of next year, we will have for the first time submarine cable connectivity to the island of Vanuatu. So that would significantly reduce the cost of the infrastructure and help us to roll out broadband, especially not only in the urban, but as well as in the rural areas. In terms of the energy, we are embarking on a, a, a renewable energy project. Uh, there's a geothermal project in the capital port Vila, which which significantly reduce the cost of power. And we're actually deploying solar powered system to all the major uh, district, government district in Vanuatu. So obviously that's by, the future is bright basically, that's what I can say. By the end of next year and the following year, there'll be a lot of changes in terms of the way the cost structure is in Vanuatu. Hopefully it will be more cheaper and that will allow more penetration for ICT services. And what do you see as the principal opportunities now? The, the opportunities, I would say that, uh, I mean, one of the main priorities for Vanuatu is education. Uh, we are still a least developing country. Literacy is still one of our major issues. So a lot of focus in Vanuatu is basically focused on health. So for me, with this, all this radical transformation in the industry, I see a great opportunity for Vanuatu government to actually use the ICT to, to achieve the, its goals eh? and, and to help to deploy education into more rural areas of Vanuatu. Great, and in terms of where we are right now, we're here at uh, ITU Telecom World 2012. Yeah. Why are you here? Why do you think this event is important? And, and what key message would you like to deliver here? I think, first of all, let me state that before I answer the question, let me state that since 2008, the Vanuatu government has done a lot in the, in the sector. In 2008, we, we completely break down the monopoly. We introduced competition. Now we have a unified licensing regime in Vanuatu. We have an independent regulator and is seen as one of the the, the role model for the South Pacific. We also have an e-government network that basically connect, uh, it's an IPLS and, um, uh, IP and PLS networks that connect all the provincial governments and we have a very aggressive e-government services rollout program. And we are seen as a leader in the Pacific. Uh, in the Pacific eh? So what's the main lessons to be learned on the ITU conference? Uh, one of the things that I always emphasize in the Vanuatu is to, to get a very strong leadership in the ICT sector, especially right at the top of the government. So I'm pleased to inform you that I've actually come here with, I think we are, by far, we are probably the largest delegation uh, representing any country. The six of us out of 250,000 people, we have six of us, and majority of the part of the composition of the team is people not from the ICT sector, but they are leaders in the government. So basically, I want to get them here to, to be an eye opener to see what is actually the transformation that is happening in the industry. So we've learned a lot of lessons, and uh, if there's one single message I, I'd like to uh, uh, put out for this event, I would say 
I'm very optimistic about the future. There's a lot of opportunities to use ICT to, to help bring peace uh, for the betterment of the, uh, of the you know, global citizen. And there's more that we can achieve together. There's a lot of opportunities ahead. Well, we wish you all the very best in the future. And I'd like to thank you very much for being with us today. Fred Samba, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.